I believe that there is no spirit more powerful than the Holy Spirit. I believe that this gospel being preached can pierce the hearts of even the most wicked of men and women. I believe that the message of the cross is the message of the hour. And that as we declare the cross of Christ, as we declare the message of salvation, that people will be transformed. So for as long as I can recall, I've had this burden to see revival in Southern California. And I'm telling you this right now, what you are seeing, what you're watching right now online, and those of you who have the privilege of attending tonight, what you are sitting in is the beginning of the next outpouring of the Holy Spirit here in Southern California. This is the Holy Spirit's movement. It's not mine, it's His. This belongs to the Holy Spirit. God showed me a vision. I didn't start this to try to start something. God said start it and He did the rest. This is not a work of man. This is not a clever work of people coming together trying to make something happen. This is a response to the voice of God and God is making good on His promises. So God showed me this vision. And in the vision I see, as far as I was able, fields. And these fields went on for miles. And as I looked into the fields, I could see many different workers. Some of them were plowing the ground. Some of them were throwing seeds into the ground. But all of the workers, every single one of them, were tired. The hot sun beat down upon them as they sweat and worked and toiled and did everything they could to bring about that harvest. The ground was fallow and dry. With every movement that they made, they kicked up more dirt, making it more difficult for them to work. And then, I heard the sound of thunder. Over beyond the horizon, I could see as a cloud began to roll in. And as that cloud began to roll in, those workers began to look up. And as they began to look up, I saw the rain beginning to fall. And the rain began to not only fall on the workers and refresh them, but every time a drop of water would hit the ground, and these were not small drops, these were big, thick drops of rain. Every time a drop would hit the ground, a plant would immediately sprout up. I've asked for interpretation on this vision. I think it's obvious. The dirt that was being kicked up was the rejection of the gospel. The workers, that represents the church. They represented the church. And with every movement, they were sowing seeds. They were plowing the ground, and they were wondering where the harvest was, and they said, this is too difficult. Here's the thing about God. God likes to wait until the very last minute to move so that when he moves, you know who gets the glory. He's a God who is always on time. And so these workers are working this field and they, they can't figure out how to make the harvest come about. They did everything they could. That was until the rain came. And I heard that rumbling of thunder. God told me it was the sound of worship. And that the next great move of God would be announced with the sound of worship. Church, have we not seen a great worship movement sweep our nation? That's just the precursor to what's coming. That's the worship service before the word is preached. That's the worship service before the miracles happen. That's the worship service before the power is demonstrated. That is the precursor to what God is doing. And so this word came into my spirit. The Lord told me, 
Be forewarned and be encouraged. Everything you have sown will grow. The rain is coming. Some of you have seeds in the ground. And those seeds in the ground are what you have spoken to your unsaved loved ones. Some of you parents have sown seeds into the hearts of your children. Some of you grandparents have spoken seeds into the hearts of your grandchildren. Some of you sons and daughters have sown seeds, speaking the gospel into the hearts of your parents, siblings into siblings and cousins into cousins and friends into friends. Every single one of us have seeds in the ground. But when that rain comes, everything you have sown will grow. Everything you have in the ground will grow. Some of you have toiled and labored. I'm talking to pastors who have pastored churches of 12 and 15 people who wonder when is the harvest going to come. I'm talking to evangelists who wonder when they're going to start seeing the stadiums being filled and when they're going to start seeing the harvest come. The rain is coming. I'm talking to the teachers and the prophets and the apostles who have taught the word, who have established ministries, who have foretold the oracles of God and they're wondering, God, when is it going to take place? Let me encourage you, church. The rain is coming. I'm talking to the businessman. I'm talking to the businesswoman. I'm talking to those of you who have sown seeds into the gospel and you've sown seeds into the gospel saying, Lord, I'm ready for a harvest so that I can sow, sow more seeds into the gospel. I have an encouragement for you too. The rain is coming and everything you have sown is about to grow. This is why we're meeting. This is why we're gathering. This is why we're holding these meetings because God told me to do it. And this, you can already feel it, is in the atmosphere. Church, the rain is here. Those of you who've been praying, those of you who've been sowing, those of you who have been believing, let me tell you something. Healing is here. Deliverance is here. Salvation is here. Revival is here. The outpouring has begun. The outpouring has begun. And so, it's very simple. You want to be a part of what God is doing. I want you to text the number on your screen. You're not just texting a number. You're joining a movement. You're not just texting a number. You're jumping into the river. I don't care if you're not even from California. You can be from other states and other countries saying, I want to be a part of what God is doing. Fly on in. You're not going to leave empty. I promise you. So listen to me. You've been believing for your miracle. You've been believing for your deliverance. You've been believing for your ministry breakthrough. That portal of heaven is open over this move of God. So text that keyword, D-I-G-A, to 797979. And when you do that, you're signing up to receive text alerts about these events. It's the easiest way to notify people. Nobody checks their email anymore. And anything you post on social media, people scroll right past it. This is why we're texting you directly. And we will not spam you, I promise. This is to be a part of what God is doing in this hour. I will say it again because I know it in my spirit. The outpouring has begun. Be a part of it. Yeah.